Hi there, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, have fun. If you're not, you know I don't have an accent. Even though I always say that with an accent. Anyways, today is the story of why I threw out my iPhone. Now you might be like, <gasps> you threw out your iPhone. No, not literally, because that's what I'm using to film right now. Because let's just say my nice camera isn't cooperating but let's start from the beginning now i wanted to get rid of using the smartphone for a very long time you know like that was just my main goal was like you know it's really toxic i need to wean off it like it's gotta go you know and if you're on Instagram and stuff, you probably already know this whole story, but <laughs> for my YouTube friends or anyone who's inspired to get off it, hi. Um, so yeah, for a while I always wanted to like cut off social media. I got rid of Snapchat, you know what I'm saying? Like that was the first big one and I never wanted to go back ever since, you know? So I was like, it is possible, you know? I don't use Twitter, like, you know, things like that. And, you know, then you always have like the people who are like, Oh, you can't go off social media, duh, 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 right? But I'm like, eh, at the end of the day, it's my choice. The reason why I didn't get rid of the iPhone for what, the while is because when I started driving, I used the iPhone as my GPS because, let's face it, it made it so much easier and it was so much easier to jam out to my favorite tunes. Yeah, well, that was until me and my beloved friend along decided to drive to bush gardens <laughs> you might be like what the hell does this have to do with getting rid of the phone but it'll all tie in in a second so story time i was driving right and i like i have really bad like i faint a lot you know what i'm saying i don't know what's wrong um but i'll get to that point later so i faint a lot and i ate a chocolate piece of cake and then I was bouncing off the walls, and then I felt myself starting to faint again, so I got a cup of coffee. This is like hours apart, right? So I start twitching uncontrollably, and like, cause my twitch is like, when I get in that mode, like I always, I, I have a natural twitch, that's like when I'm, whenever I'm driving, and people are like, hold the wheel still, hold the wheel, I literally can't, like, I have a twitch, you know what I'm saying? But whenever my sugar, like, level is like, <laughs> like through the roof, it's like, like, head bang banging, like, twitching, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is crazy. So at this point, like, I'm sitting in the restaurant and everyone's staring at me because I'm fucking headbutting the table and holding on like I'm on a fucking roller coaster, right? And then I get into the car and I'm like, okay, well, the smart thing to do is we're just gonna sit here until I calm down, right? So we're sitting in the car and everything's, like, all nice and calm and I'm like, okay, okay, it's long, I, th I think I can drive home now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, I'm ready, you know? Because home wasn't far. Home was, like, 20 minutes away from, you know, this place. And, what is it? And keep in mind, like, a lot of people are like, Oh, I thought you said you weren't eating at restaurants. Well, I had to at that point, because when I feel like I'm gonna faint, I need something. You know what I'm saying? Because then I couldn't drive home. That's the only reason I stopped in. You know what I'm saying? And so anyways, I'm driving, I'm driving, and all of a sudden... Like, to try to calm myself down, because, like, the twitching came back severely, and I was, like, swerving off the road. You know what I'm saying? And the twitching was, like, severe, and my and DeLong was like, oh my god, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, right? And then it started getting to me, right? Like, because I, then I tried singing to calm myself down, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna sing along to the song, and I'm gonna be real calm. But then I stopped breathing. <laughs> and I'm laughing now, because really thinking about it, my friend, he should have called the police, I mean the ambulance or something, but I stopped breathing because I started having like a really bad panic attack. So in the middle of this humongous panic attack, I'm like screaming like someone's stabbing me, like literally like I was screaming so loud, like that's what it sounded like someone was stabbing me, like you would think someone was like slicing my throat open or something, right? And I'm screaming, I'm screaming, we need to pull over, you need to pull over! right because I forgot I was driving like I literally forgot where I was what I was doing what I'm supposed to be doing right and then so DeLong just grabs the wheel you know and he like starts to move us over to the side of the road to safety and then I faint I don't know how long I was out 
but it felt like nothing happened when I woke up type of thing. Because I woke up, and dog's a hysterical mess, and I'm like, oh shit. Like, I felt so bad. I was like, ah, fuck. Like, I'm a monster. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then he's like, can I drive home? And I was like, no, I'm fine. Like, I was just fine. But then when I got home, you know, I had to tell my parents, obviously, and they're like, well, you shouldn't drive for a while, so I couldn't drive for a while. And then I went to sleep that night, and something in me, it was like a switch went off, and I said, well... I not I'm not going to be driving for a while, so I don't need my phone for the GPS. And I started really thinking, and I was like, I want a flip phone. You know, and this wasn't just like a spur of the moment thing. Like, because sometimes I'll think of something before I go to bed, and I'm like, I wake up in the morning, I'm like, eh, you know, I'm like, whatever, don't want it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like. I, I, I learned to try to ration, like, you know, my wants with my needs, you know what I'm saying? But then I woke up in the morning, and, like, I wrote this whole thing on Instagram. I was like, no, 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 I'm fucking doing this. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Because most of it is, is, like, the negativity. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just so tired of the negativity. I'm tired of going in public, and people are messaging me, and I'm like, leave me alone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and what a better way to just get out and have a life is to have a flip phone that I'm not giving the number to anyone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so that was like my, my you know, that was my, my thinking, you know? And I woke up in the morning and I saw my dad in the kitchen. And I was like, dad, I want a flip phone. And it was like an hour argument. He was like, you don't need that. Da, da, da. You're going to make me buy another phone. I was like, no, no, no I'll buy it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I don't have, you know, I'm not on a plan or anything. I'm just doing month to month payments type of thing. Like a track phone. And finally he gave in, and he got me this little phone. I decorated it, but you'll see in my next video how I did that, kind of. And, yeah, it's Doro Consumer Cellular. And the week that I've been on the phone so far has been the happiest week of my life. I shit you not, people think... Like, what is it? People think that it's, like, a step back in technology. But it's really not, like... How do I explain it? This, I haven't felt at peace in such a long time. But this stupid piece of technology that I only look at, like, twice a day now makes me happy. You know? And needless to say, obviously... Social media is an addiction for a lot of people. So I can't sit here and say, yeah, I'm off it, because I'm not. Because the next thing now is Facebook. But the reason I'll never really get rid of Facebook is because of family things. But I've weaned off enough to where I only really go out on the computer. And then, because people always comment, they're like, for someone who's only on the computer, you're always on it. But people forget I only work on the weekends, and I have school at night, so yeah, I'm kind of on the computer all day, but I'm, the difference is when I'm on the computer, I'm actually being productive with Facebook open, you know what I'm saying, like, that sounds, like, counterproductive, but you know what I mean, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's a different change, I just feel like it's the start to something new, you know what I'm saying, like, I can just, you know, go out and do things, and I'll have a phone, like in middle school. <laughs> Remember those days? Like, I, all my friends always had, like, the newest touch phones and shit. And I remember I was so, like, not jealous, but just like, man, my parents would never. You know what I'm saying? Like, in middle school. Because I had my little, my little slidey phone. Oh, I love that phone. I wanted to use that one, but I couldn't. But, um, I had my little freaking slidey phone, and it was just for emergencies, and it was paid by the minute, so it better be a good emergency type of thing. So, yeah. And, like, I was just like, oh my god, I can't wait for a smartphone. And then when I finally got one, it was like my life changed forever, but for the worse. You know what I'm saying? Because I've always been depressed, but, like, in the past few years, I noticed it's been taking a severe toll because of the phone. You know what I'm saying? Because when I first got the smartphone, it wasn't, like, I think I had kick on it. I don't think I really had, like, Instagram or any of that stuff, or if I did, I didn't really use it, you know what I'm saying? 
But then it just got, I think Snapchat was really my turning point where I'm like, I'm so fucking tired of seeing other people's lives. Like, God forgive me, but like, I just don't care. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously it makes me happy to see people happy, but that's not what Snapchat is. Like, my Snapchat was just constant, like, negativity, and then people were telling me that I was negative, and I was like, well, I'm only negative because I'm surrounded by negativity, so I got rid of Snapchat. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, like, a lot of people don't realize that, like, what you put out there influences other people to how they act. Like, if it's constantly negative, then you're making other people think negative things, you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to become better about that, because I'm very aware that, like, you know, like, a lot of things are wrong right now, and sometimes I vent, and I realize that's not a healthy exercise to do on the internet because I don't want people to be negative. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am. Like, when I write my statuses sometimes. But I'm not a negative person. I just have negative things to say sometimes. You know? Which is why, you know, getting rid of social media is gonna help a lot. Because now when I have something negative to say, I write it in a notepad and then I delete it. You know? So... Yeah, and needless to say, like, it's helping me become more communicative in person, you know? Like, how do I explain it? Like, now that I don't look at people's, like, Instagrams or people texting me and things like that, when I see them in person, I'm just like, hey, how was your week? You know what I'm saying? Like, all my classmates are like, did you just ask me in person how my week was? And I'm like, yeah, because I don't see it anymore. I might as well just ask you. And they're just like, You know what I'm saying? And, like, it's not even... What is it? I don't text on this, really. Like, like I said, I pay for minutes, so... Gotta make it worth it. I have my parents and the house on here. And my boyfriend, because sometimes he picks me up from, like, you know, school, so... Gotta call someone. (laughs) But, yeah, and... Yeah, I mean, overall... I feel better, you know what I'm saying? Because I just go out and do what I have to do, and I don't have to worry about looking at the phone. Like, if anyone has anything to say to me, I just look at it when I get home, like I always did back in the day. So yeah, and I'll I'll keep updates on this because I know a lot of people, their first question is, oh, how long is she gonna last? And honestly, I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling withdrawal at all. You know, obviously, realistically speaking, I have to use the iPhone for some things, you know, but I took everything off of it that's making my life negative. So really, like, I keep the iPhone at home, and then I check it when I'm at home, because I have work things, I have my grandma's neighborhood stuff on there, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? You know, so there are some things where I have to check on the iPhone because it's just hooked up that way. And sometimes I get text messages from model agencies and things that I never signed up for. But, yeah. With that being said, if anyone has any questions or you need inspiration to shrivel, shrivel, to venture on this journey, just leave me a comment, you know? Um, I mean, I'm still new to this, very new, like, not even two weeks new so it's gonna be an adventure for me too but think about it there are people out there who still use flip phones and they're just fine so I have no doubt that I'm going to be living a peaceful life and obviously like when I move far away from home I'm gonna have to have the iPhone again to like FaceTime my parents like you know when I'm out on out and about but you know who knows you know I have a laptop that does FaceTime too. So, that being said, puff, puff.